Hi, this is Joe Nolan from Gibson Engineering, and this is a quick start video to set up the VNC server functionality on a Mitsubishi GOT 1000 HMI. Specifically, you'll need a GT 14 or GT 16 series of HMI to unlock and use the VNC server functionality. What you'll need is your HMI, a VNC server license code available from Mitsubishi, you can contact Gibson Engineering for that for an existing HMI or you can order any new HMIs with that. And you'll also need to have your HMI on an accessible network, whether you put a Wi-Fi router right on your machine or right near your HMI and use that to broadcast your own network or whether you connect it to your plant network or your office network. As long as you can get onto that same network, you can then connect with a VNC client, whether you're using a, a VPN to connect into the network remotely, or if you're right there local on that network, you can open up your VNC client and monitor or operate your HMI with a, another device like an iPad, a smartphone, Android, or iPhone, or a PC that's on that network as well. You'll also need GT Designer 3 to make a couple modifications to your project file so that you enable the VNC server functionality and create the appropriate settings. Now one of the first things you need to do with your GOT hardware is install the VNC server license. So you'll see my screen here, this is a GT16 screen. I'm going to click in the top corner to go to the utility menu on the physical GOT. So now I'm gonna, right in the main setup, GOT setup, main unit setup, I'm gonna click on the license management button. And you'll see PC remote operation function and VNC server function license number input is available. This GOT has the license already registered to it, but what you would do otherwise is click right on the license number input, type in your license number supplied by you, and then click register. You'll get a, another dialog box. Click OK, and then you're all set. You can cancel out of this, go back to your main screen, and you'll be ready to go. Now, in the GOT software, we're going to open GT Designer 3. I'm going to start with an existing project. Now I've got my GOT project open in GT Designer 3. Now there's a couple things I need to do to modify my project to allow for the VNC server function so I can remotely monitor and operate the HMI. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my common settings, peripherals, and VNC server. Or you can go down in the tree view if you're in system, peripheral unit settings, and double click on VNC server. So now I just need to check off this box to say use the VNC server. The server connection setting, this first portion, you don't need to touch. It defaults to port 5900, which is a standard for VNC. You can change that if you want to. Later on, you'll see you would need to modify your VNC client settings if you did change this. Most VNC clients are going to default to 5900 as well. Now you do need to set a password. So for operation and monitoring, I'm going to put in a simple password. And if I wanted to, I could check off this box to create a separate password that only allows monitoring and no operation. Lastly, you can set a GOT processor priority. So you can say to prioritize VNC server functionality over other things, monitoring, or just leave it as standard. We'll make the VNC server a priority. Now, there is a checkbox for restricting simultaneous operation from the P PC and locally at the GOT. For this demo purposes, I don't need that. And then lastly, there's a checkbox to allow for video and multimedia to be displayed over the VNC server as well. That can consume a lot of bandwidth, so you may want to leave it unchecked if you're not using it or if you don't need that 
as an option when you're monitoring or operating remotely. I'm going to click OK. So now I've modified that in my project. And the last thing I want to do when I go to communication to write this to the GOT, I'm connected via USB. Click OK. Now I want to write my project. And when I go to this extended function OS, you're going to see there's a VNC server checkbox. So I need to download that extended function OS to the GOT. It is not there by default out of the box. So I'm going to click off extended function OS and then go click VNC server. So now I'm writing my project and adding in the extended function OS. Now I'm going to write this to my GOT. Now it's re-downloading the project. Now the writing to the GOT is finished. I can click OK and close this box. Now before we exit GT Designer and open up a VNC client to try this, I do want to just make note of the IP address so I can go and check the channels and my GOT IP address is 192.168.3.18. Now, when you connect with a VNC client, as we'll do in a few moments, you need to know the IP address. That's the host address for the VNC server. So we need to know that before we can open up a VNC client. So just make note of your GOT IP address. Hit OK. Now I can exit out of GT Designer. Now that we've set up everything on the GOT to have the VNC server serve up all of the graphics and everything from the GOT, we can go to a VNC client to connect remotely. So you can go online and search for any number of free uh, or pay VNC clients available for your PC, your Mac, any sort of machine. You can go to the App Store for your iPad. Um, you can go to the App Store for your Mac, you can go to Google Play for your Android device. You should be able to find many free options for VNC clients or some people call them VNC viewers. So from the Mac, Mac perspective, I downloaded uh, one that I quickly found called Chicken of the VNC. I can open that up. Now, there's usually only a few options when you go into a VNC client. And we can add a new server. I'm going to add one. We can give it a name, we'll call it the GOT VNC. Name doesn't really matter as far as a connection. You don't have to call it anything in particular. The host, in this, this client calls it a host, we're going to have to put in the GOT's IP address, 192.168.3.18. This display number is the number to increment a default port of 5900. The different VNC clients will have different options here, but in this case, if I put in a 1, it would look for our VNC server over port 5901. So I'm going to leave it a 0 to default to 5900. Now I have to put in our password. I can check off remember the password. And then, as you can see, I'm connected to the Gibson GOT VNC Wi-Fi network. So this is a network broadcast from a router that the GOT is connected to. So I'm on the same network as the GOT. I've set up my host address to match that of the GOT VNC server. I'm going to click Connect. VNC server screen pops up and now I'm viewing my GOT screen remotely and I can click and operate the GOT. So the GOT physical screen is changing at the same time as my screen on the VNC client on my Mac. So as you can see, I'm connected. Cycling through screens. You see the refresh rate is pretty quick. Back to the main menu. So that's the VNC server functionality. This is a VNC client on the Mac operating system. Now I can quickly show you uh, a similar one 
on the PC side. So I can go to my PC virtual machine. Again, I downloaded a VNC viewer. I can open that up. Now, in this case, the VNC server they're asking for, they want you to add the port number on the end of the host name. So you can do 192.168.3.18 colon 5900 for the port. These quick options I'm just going to leave as auto. I'm going to click connect. Now it's going to prompt me for my password. Put the password in. Again that's the password that was set in the GT Designer 3 project. Hit log on. Pulls up my viewer. And there we are again. We can see the same GOT screen and we can cycle through the different screens. You can see everything updates remotely. And we're back to the main screen. So that concludes walking through the setup for the VNC server functionality on a GT14 or GT16 Mitsubishi HMI, and also how to open up your VNC client on your Mac PC tablet, iPhone, whatever it may be, you just need to know that host address, port number, and password, and you should be able to connect. All you need to keep in mind is that you do need to be on the same network, so if this is on your plant network and you're remote, you just may need to VPN in and then open up your VNC client. In this particular example, we were on the same network in the same building, and then we could open up our VNC client and access the GOT to monitor and or operate. Please contact Gibson Engineering if you have any questions.